Hi, my name is Derek Quinn. I'm a PGY3 at the Riverside University Health System Family Medicine Residency. Uh, right now I'm on night shift, so I'm going to show you a day of the life of what it's like to be a resident on night shift. Right now it is around 2.30. I just woke up and plan for today is to start a workout and then get ready for work. So let's go. Okay, so it is now 4 p.m. Workout's done. Time to take Delta for a walk. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Come on. Delta is my Australian cattle dog. She's about five years old now. Um, I got her back in medical school as a second year. I was still living in Chicago when I brought her all the way over here to Riverside. Um, it is possible to have a dog while in residency. There are some challenges, especially with the variable schedule. It helps to uh, live with other people um, that can kind of help watch her. But I think it's a good lifestyle choice and it's a good stress relief. You always have some pet therapy after a hard day or a long day at work. And you know, they're always happy to see you. So for the last two and a half years or so, I've been living in uh, downtown Riverside. It's pretty close to the hospital and our clinic in Moreno Valley, about a 20 minute drive. The reason why I chose it was that it was close to a lot of restaurants in the area and um, it was just a really kind of nice scenic place to live. Uh, with COVID and everything happening, all those restaurants are, you know, limited seating and outside seating only, but I still enjoy it and do rec really recommend as a place to live if, when you're looking for um, apartments in the area. So right now it's 7.20. Um, I'm, I'm on my way to head to the hospital. Night shift starts at 8 p.m. And that's when we get signed out from the day team. And then from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m., we do admits for the family medicine team. Now it is 1.40 at night. Um, so far we had one admission for pediatrics uh, as a newborn with um, neonatal fever. And then we also had an admission in the adult side for a cerebellar stroke. So as you can see overnight, we do cover three services, pediatrics, nursery, and adults on the family medicines service. Um, and we can get a range of patients uh, overnight. Right now I'm in the call room. It is pretty Spartan, but it gets the job done. All right, we'll see you in the morning. It is now 7.45 uh, at the end of the shift. We uh, got two more admits overnight. One was a pediatric child, and then one was also an adult. Uh, the adult came in with uh, chronic liver disease and abdominal pain, so we're working him out for a possible SVP. And then the other kid that we admitted was for a suicide attempt. Um, she's doing well right now. We had to contact poison control, but otherwise doing well. Um, overnight, we also had a kid on the nursery who didn't have any um, didn't have any urination and was very distended on exam. So we got a KUB and ended up looking like a suspected Hirschberg's disease. So that baby ended up in the NICU. So never know what the night will bring you, it seems. 
um, but that's kind of the fun of family medicine. I'm gonna head home now and go to bed. Have a good one, bye. Okay, here is some bonus footage. Coming home and seeing puppies. Hi, puppy. Hi. Hi. Oh.